greetings again, Midlothian High School freshmen and new students. Welcome to our virtual orientation for all our new students, particularly our 450 plus freshmen coming to Midlothian High School. If you didn't get to play my video last week, once again, my name is Sean Abel, the very proud principal here at Midlothian High School. What we have in store for you today is a virtual freshman orientation. I'm going to lead you through a few things and then we're going to turn things over to our Trojan Nations group, a group of upperclassmen students, 10th through 12th grade, who are dedicated to providing you some additional support and assistance to make sure your freshman year is as smooth as possible. And when we say as smooth as possible, considering the circumstances, we're all getting this together and we're going to do the very best we can. So with that being said, I want to first and foremost tell you what you need to do on that first day of school. So on that first day of school, you're not coming to Midlothian High School, unfortunately. What we're gonna do is we're gonna need you to log into your dashboard, your CCPS identity, and find that link called Canvas. And then you're gonna click on that link, Canvas, and we're all gonna follow a schedule together, which I'll display on the screen in a minute. So when you click on Canvas, you're gonna find your first period teacher. If you don't know your first period teacher or your other teachers, we do have Student View also, which is out there that provides your updated grades throughout the year, and Student View will show the schedule that you have for each day. So make sure you go to Student View, have your schedule in order first, then when you go into Canvas, you'll know who your first period teacher is. Find that class, click on the module for that class, and then in you go, you'll see everything in front of you in order by day. And hopefully you'll see September 8th right there, you'll see a welcome video by yours truly, Sean Abel, your principal. Then we'll walk you through things that with particular to that first period class and we'll go from there. So we're gonna follow the schedule that you see on your screen now each and every day. Very similar to what we go through through the school year where we have first period every single day, but instead of maybe it was 48 minutes the last year, you can look on the screen and you can see that first period is actually just 40 minutes from 8.30 to 9.10. And we're going to provide something called synchronous instruction during that period and asynchronous instruction sometimes during that block of time and also outside of the school time. Synchronous instruction is when your teacher will work directly with you in some capacity. It doesn't always mean that uh, Mr. Abel is going to be in front of the class uh, lecturing on the screen to 30 students every single time. Synchronous instruction could also mean that I bring in a handful of students, maybe eight, from 8.30 to 8.45. And then we bring in some other students from 8.45 to 9. So while you're working with that small group synchronously, other students are working what's called asynchronously. That means on their own, anytime, anywhere learning. That's going to be one of the pure benefits of virtual learning. So with that being said, follow the schedule, again, that I referenced on your screen. We'll bring it back up, and you can see that we're going to go to second period after first period. So for our students who are returning, that's going to be new for them, but you don't know any different right now because you're new to Midlothian High School. So we're going to go to second period from 9.10 to 10.35 a.m., and then after second period, you're going to go to something called Midlo Morning. Our students are going to tell you more about Midlo Morning, so I'm not going to go into great detail. I will share that for the first two weeks of school, we're going to go to what's called Midlo Morning H. H stands for homeroom. And we're going to have students assigned to specific classes. We're trying to link as many as we can to first period so you're familiar with the teacher. And we're going to provide a wealth of lessons throughout the year, but particularly those first nine days of school, we're going to have structured lessons. Yours truly is going to do the first uh, two days of school where we're going to have about a 15 to 20 minute uh, presentation by me that's pre-recorded and then it'll be an opportunity for you to ask questions with the teacher in your class during middle morning H. And then I'll do it again on Wednesday, September 9th where I'll present to you a pre-recorded lesson and I'm going to talk through all the things that you need to know specific to expectations, procedures, even some rules on occasion. Uh, so then you're going to, after middle of the morning, you have a lunch break and then we're going to report to third and fourth period. I'm not going to go through the details of the specific times. Um, you can see those by looking at the schedule that I've shared through my weekly message with your parents. If your parents don't share information with you from the weekly message, make sure you touch base with them because 
I send out a message every week with a wealth of information and within about the first two weeks of school I'll actually ask students if they would like to share their personal email so they could receive those messages directly as well but until then you're gonna have to rely on your parents to touch base with your parent or guardian about that weekly message because that's where I have things like the virtual schedule included and if you don't see that you can go to our website where I've uploaded our weekly message and you can find our schedule and so much more information. So that kind of takes us through a little bit of that first day and how you get on board. Once again, we got a very structured schedule. Students are expected to attend every class. We'll not um, meet for uh, hours on end every class. The average time will be somewhere in that 30 minutes where you'll meet for direct instruction and then you'll have time to work on different things with the teacher there to support you throughout the day. So this is gonna look a little different than the spring for many of you. Please know this is structured in place and we do have grades that are gonna count throughout the school year even when we're learning virtually. Um, so that should take you through the first day or so of school. And then after the first day of school, we're gonna continue on, as I said, for eight more days where we're going to attend our classes first, second, middle morning H, our homeroom, and then we're gonna do lunch and then third and fourth. End of the day is blocked off, by the way, for teachers to have an opportunity to meet with parents, students individually, even small groups. And then we here at Midlow with our faculty, we also have to take the time to get together and provide professional development and go over some things that are vital for your success. Um, you'll do that through the first two weeks. I wanna just end by giving you just a little bit of advice before turning things over to our wonderful Trojan Nations group. My advice for each and every one of you is to, I want you to be organized. Listen to what the students are gonna share with you in a minute, but at the same time, I'm gonna need you to be flexible. The teachers are learning a lot of these tools and things, some for the very, very first time. So please be flexible and patient as the teachers work with you because they do truly have your best interest in mind and they wanna support you, but some of this technology is new to them and some of it's gonna be a little new to you, I'm sure as well. But I know if we work together and we try to be organized yet flexible, we can get this done and we can be successful throughout the entire school year, whether we're meeting in person or virtually. And my next bit of advice is be present and be on time for your organized synchronous classes. At the same time, we understand things that happen. It goes back to that flexibility piece. Um, do everything you can to be on time and be present and actively engaged in your classes. But we understand you could have things going on in your home. You're learning from your home now. You could have um, uh, technology glitches take place. We understand all that. The thing that will teachers have the most struggle with is if you don't communicate with them and explain that you had an issue or a challenge that you couldn't avoid. So please, communication is key. We know it goes both ways, teacher, student, student, teacher. Um, but please communicate with your teachers if you're gonna miss a class, uh, if you're having challenges with technology or anything is going on, because they're gonna wonder where you are and they are expecting to see the students. So please make every effort to be on time and be actively engaged in your class. The students will go over some of the expectations of how to present yourself when you're on camera, um, how to be actively engaged in a virtual setting, because it is so much different than face-to-face. -face. So I'm not gonna steal their thunder, I'm going any more details, I'm gonna let them explain it, because I'm sure you'd much rather hear that from your classmates than you would from me. Um, in closing, I just wanna tell you, whether it's virtual or in person, Midlothian High School is truly a community of excellence. Excellence does not mean perfection. Excellence means we're striving to be the best version of ourself, whatever that means. So if you are taking all standard level courses, maybe excellence is earning the very best grades you can in those classes under whatever circumstances that you're facing at the time, but maybe stretching one day to take an upper level class. For others, excellence sometimes means things you're doing outside of the classroom as well. Working and taking care of communi your community members um, through different philanthropic organizations. We have a lot of clubs and activities here. Hopefully the students are gonna share a little bit about that. Even virtually, several of the clubs and the officers have spoken with me about continuing to do all their um, charitable events, even virtually. So keep that in mind as well. So excellence can mean so many different things. I want you to be a contributing member of our community of excellence, but I also want you to benefit 
from our community of excellence here at Midlothian High School. If I could be of any assistance, whether we're here face-to-face -face or virtually, I, know, I hope you know that you can count on me and you'll reach out to me if need be. Do not hesitate to call us here at the school or to reach out to me or specifically your teachers who can be of a direct support all the time throughout our virtual learning experience. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, I want to thank in advance all the teachers and the students who worked with our Trojan Nations organization. They did a fantastic job putting this orientation together. I hope you feel ready for the first day of school. You know where to go. That's really all we're looking for right now. Don't get stressed about anything else. Just try to get your technology in order. Know that you're supposed to log into ccpsnet.net find that Canvas link and get to your first period and know that we're counting on you to go to your classes each and every day and be actively engaged. We're gonna make this something that other schools will wanna model, uh, they'll, they'll wanna follow after our model here at Midlothian High School. So I'm gonna turn things over to our Trojans Nations group. Thank you so much for your attention and um, you're gonna hear this a lot. As always, go Midlo! Excellence empowers all of us, kids, parents, schools, and organizations. Because of excellence, we strive to build positive relationships and strong communities. Excellence is defined as good qualities and high degree. Building excellence in communities leads to students with a solid core of good character. Hello, my name is Will and I'm, I am a rising sophomore at Midlothian High School. One word I would use to describe Midlothian High School is opportunity because there are many opportunities that come in the form of clubs and different classes you can take as you make your way through high school. I think that Midlow is the perfect example of a community of excellence because in a community like the one at Midlow, everyone is always striving to be the best version of themselves and it overall creates this atmosphere where everyone just wants to be the best and it's really encouraging and allows everyone to be the best version of themselves. My name is Elise Shell and I'm a rising junior here at Midlow and I wanted to share two things that I really wish that I knew my freshman year. And the first one is Midlow Morning. Now if you don't know what Midlow Morning is, it's basically the short period of time the school gives us that happens at the first block. Kind of like a study hall um, that they give us to utilize to get ahead on the work, work on our current school work, catch up on makeup work, and you can catch up with teachers to get help on things that you need um, individually. and. Whatever you do, please, please, please do not abuse mid the morning. Take it to the best of your advantage. Try to get ahead on work so that when you get home, you don't have as much um, homework or it, you can have more time to study. And I know for me, because I play competitive soccer and I have practice as soon as I get back home, I only have about an hour and a half to do homework. So I utilize mid the morning a lot. So for any of my athletes out there, or just if you have things to do after school, please, 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 whatever you do, utilize mid the morning. It is one of the best resources out there and it's not actually offered at every school and technically even though it's not obligated to give us that so please take advantage of it now with saying that do not rely on middle morning to get all your work and homework done do that day in the short period of time of middle morning my last word of advice would be to have fun keep a positive mindset and seek out everything middle has to offer 
Now, I know that may be hard to say under our current circumstances, and this is not how you imagine your first year of high school to be, but trust me, this is, you're not in this alone. This is not normal for any of us. So everyone is adjusting and adapting and you're not alone. Um, and when we do get back, please, 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 to the best of your ability, please just try and seek out um, new things, take new adventures, take risks, um, meet new people, build new relationships. And I know for me personally, I joined the soccer team freshman year and we went to states, we went to regionals. It was some of the best experiences in my life and I will talk about till this day. Um, and I really got to see what it felt like to be a part of Midlow and its community. And I encourage you all to do that. Um, seek out, you know, go to games, go to sporting events, um, join clubs, start your own club. Um, just really embrace everything Midlow has to offer. And while Midlow is very rigorous and the coursework can sometimes seem a bit difficult, the reason that I think people here do so well and strive and um, really accomplish what they came here to accomplish is that the resources here, they're, they're everywhere. They're there. And not all of that is just from counseling or teachers, the people as well. The people you'll meet um, who will become your best friends for, for the rest of your life into college, uh, I think is part of the reason why Midlow is the way it is and why we're in and that's the community of excellence. So please just take advantage of everything Midlow has to offer and soak it all in but of course have fun freshman year sometimes can be a little bit stressful and the thoughts of it being your first year and being the base of the rest of your three years in college and SATs and GPAs and all that can sometimes overwhelm you and you forget to have fun so enjoy your time here it is up to you to make the best out of your four years um, and I can confidently say coming into my third year here it's not done. Um, I've had so much fun my first two years, but I can't wait for the next two. And it is up to you to make these four years some of the best four years, hopefully, of your life. Um, again, up to you. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoy your time here at Midlow. And hopefully, I get to meet some of you all on these Zooms and help guide you and make your first year here at Midlow easier. <laughs> One thing I wish I had known as a freshman is that for any AP class, you can go to the College Board website and find all sorts of practice quizzes, practice writing, practice exams, helpful tips, and that will save you. You will know so much more about the class, you'll have so much more success, and it's just a really, really great website. Alright, hi, I'm Ashley Sowers. I'm a rising junior at Midlothian High School, and one thing I wish I knew as a freshman was that the upperclassmen, despite seeming tough and rough and knowing everything, they really don't. Um, they might be going through some of the same problems that you do, and honestly, if you're in a class with them and you're having trouble understanding, ask them for help if you don't feel comfortable going to the teacher. Um, and odds are they may not understand either, and then you guys can work together to figure it out. My second piece of advice would be to join clubs or sports or activities, whether it be like chorus or drama or a sport like volleyball, which is what I play. You just really need to put yourself out there. Um, it'll help you figure out who your crowd is and who you really want to spend the next four years with. Strategy which helped me a lot with studying during middle of the morning. It helped me save a lot of time. Hi, my name is Kylie Bonzer and I'm going to be a sophomore. For me personally, time management was very important um, because it ensures that you have enough time to prepare and to just complete the assignment and you don't want to put something off to the last minute and then you might forget about it. So make sure you always have enough time to complete your assignments. Um, number two is a planner. I really recommend using planners because you can write down your the information that you have, whether it's a quiz date, a test date, um, just homework due, and you'll be prepared and you won't forget about it, as, or you won't be as likely to forget about it. 
Um, my last one is always ask questions. So it's very important that you ask questions because if you just hold it in and that shows up on a quiz or a test, you're gonna wish you asked the questions. And um, I really recommend just making sure you are really prepared and know everything going into the quiz or test and just make sure you ask questions. So thank you. I would say the most helpful strategy was definitely making sure to take a couple 10 to 15 minute study breaks to help your mind reset. One study strategy I found helpful was to write everything out. Even if I had notes in my Chromebook, I still wrote everything out on paper. This is especially helpful for me in my AP class. Also, I think studying with friends can be helpful, but make sure you already know the material so that you're just testing each other and not having to learn the material as you go. Hi guys, my name is Lucy Edwards and I'm going to be a junior this year at Midlothian High School. Some tips I use while studying are I will put my phone in another room so I'm not easily distracted and I will delete apps off my phone like Netflix and TikTok so that I'm not on it all night before bed before a big test. Go Midlow! My advice would be to get involved as soon as you can. Once you get involved, you'll be surprised at how much smaller the school seems. Hey freshmen, my advice for new students is don't be afraid to talk to new people and make friends. You can do this by joining clubs and trying out for sports teams. Very nice ladies in there that can help you answer any of your questions. We have the attendance office right here, which is convenient. Uh, this is where you would go if you need to leave early or if you come in late. To my left over here, we have our school counseling office. So that's where you would go if you need to go see your school counselor. We've got nice secretaries in there that can help you and get you scheduled and set up to see your counselor at any time. Okay, so here we are in the main office. This is the main office. Looks a little busy right now. We've got a lot of stuff around, but that's okay. But this is where the administrators are. Mr. Legal's office is right here. And Currently, we have Ms. Lear, who is our bookkeeper. She takes care of fees and all those sorts of things. And um, we have a conference room back here. Let's go see our proud principal, Dr. Abel. You see Dr. Abel. Do you have a moment just to say hi? We're doing a building tour for our new students. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Midlothian High School. I look forward to meet you, meeting each and every one of you. Thank you, Dr. Abel, for taking a moment out of your busy schedule. Bye. Bye. And let's see, we have Miss Sapp. She's our dean of students. 
Um, Hi everyone. And we have Dr. Mooney, who is also one of our associate principals here. Hi everybody, nice to meet you. Can't wait to see you. And me, my office here, I'm Dr. Bose. So, thank you. And right here is Ms. Uh, Ms. Speller. She is the school counseling coordinator, and she is more than happy to help you if you can't get in to see your counselor, if you have any other kind of questions. She's the person to see. Welcome to Midlow. Feel free to reach out if we can be of assistance, and always go Midlow. All right. Thank you, Ms. Speller. No problem. No problem. Okay, so we're in the counseling office. So when you come in the front door, um, you can uh, typically just wait right here, and they'll have they'll ask you, you know, what you're what you need, and they'll have um, little passes for you to fill out, requesting to see your counselor. But let's meet the staff here. So um, we have Ms. Nipheisen. So hi, this is Ms. Nipheisen in counseling. She would probably be the one that you would talk to when you come in. And you've already met Ms. Fowler. We talked with her already. Um, and if your counselor is Ms. Brady, her office is here. We've got Ms. Lawson over here. And we've got Ms. Harrison over here. Um, Ms. McWhite, who's a new part-time counselor, is here. Um, and then we have our school psychologist and social worker, Ms. Oberg and Ms. Benson, who are over here and our coordinator of special education, Ms. Dunburner. She's over here in the corner. And we've got a couple more counselors over on this side. And we have Mr. Birmingham here, um, who um, is on the phone right now, but um, then we've got Mr. Irving. So those are your school counselors if you need to see them. All right, everyone, we're going to take a tour down here in, into our open commons. And off the open commons, we'll show you where our science, social studies, world language, and English classrooms are. Take a walk with us, and we'll show you where we're going. Everybody, here's our open commons. This is where, in under normal circumstances, where underclassmen would have their lunch. It's open. You have access to the auxiliary gym and it is the main hub for when buses come in and our classrooms. So also here in the open commons, which is where you'll be having lunch and passing through to go to the PE room or a course or band, um, you'll also notice it's, called, it's got a sign that says snack bar, but it's actually our Chromebook Corral. So if you have issues with your Chromebook and you need to have it serviced, this is where you would go. It's only open certain hours of the day, but um, you know the, the times will be posted. But this is where you would go for Chromebook issues. Off the open commons, we have our science rooms. Down this hall, come right through here. We're going to go past our science rooms, but first, you'll find our nurse's office. So if you're not feeling well, you'll stop by right over here, check in with the nurse. Um, the science hallway, here we have the boys' bathroom. You'll notice that the bathrooms are color-coded. So your teacher, if you need to use the restroom, will give you a pass that is color-coded to the bathroom that is assigned to your area. So we're going to go on down. Science, a couple of science classrooms here to my right. Rooms 101 to 103. We've got some chemistry classrooms here. And we're going to go on down. Follow me. Physics classroom here if you're in an upper level science class. We've got more science classes over here. Earth science, biology, anatomy.
rooms that you see are science classrooms. One all the way at the far end and this one right here. The other, the rest of the classrooms here are social studies. All the way down, as far as you can see. Um, we have more bathrooms. These are color coded red. So this whole hallway and part of world language uses the red bathroom. All right, so down this hallway, rooms 124 to 135, it is our world language hallway. They're still, our day porters are getting them cleaned and ready. So when everybody comes back, it has a nice clean room. So we're gonna continue down this hallway. Down. On my right hand side, you're gonna, work, you're gonna find an English room here, but then right next to it, if you're joining us in the Inter International Baccalaureate Program, this is where you'll find the office for ID. 111 to 121, you will find your English teacher. So it's right down here, and they're still getting those rooms ready for you to arrive back at Midlothian. Now, now as we continue down this hallway, you will find the green girls' bathroom. So if you have a green pass, you will be coming to this side. So, over here to my right hand side, you'll find our wonderful library. They are here to assist you. Please come and check it out. The librarians are wonderful and are always there to help. Okay, so I just want to take you into the library so you can see how awesome it is. Um, got very comfortable seating, vast number of books that will interest anybody. Um, this is a very welcoming place. You can come in here in the mornings before school. You can bring your lunch in here, um, sit quietly with your friends, study, read a book, whatever you desire. Let me introduce you to our uh, librarian, Miss Murphy, who was just awesome and has brought a lot of good things to Midlothian High School and the library. Hi, so Dr. Bose, and hi everybody who's watching this video. It's so nice to meet you. Welcome to the Midlothian Library. It looks a little messy right now, but don't worry, when you get here, it's going to look just amazing. So feel free to stop by anytime if you have questions or you have a pass and you're here to get some work done. Another thing to keep in mind is that the library does have desktop computers because there might be a time where your Chromebook is giving you some trouble. And so always keep that in mind that we have desktop, here, desktop computers here to help if you need them. We have books galore and we have something for everybody. So we can't wait to meet you and match you up with your next favorite read. All right, thank you, Miss Murphy. Bye. So at this point, when we return to the Open Commons, we've completed a block of the school. You So far, you've seen your science classes, your world language classes, your English classes, and half of your social studies classrooms. Down this ramp off of the Open Commons is door 26. Door 26 is the main entrance for bus riders. When you come in in the morning, you will simply come up here and go to the open commons of your room. At the end of the day, when dismissal happens, you'll exit through door 26 to find your bus. And we'll go down to the athletic wing where our auxiliary gym and our new gym are housed. But before we get there, I want to show you where our auditorium is. Right over here to my right hand side, through those doors, our auditorium, where you'll have the chance to hear band concerts, see show choirs, and wonderful plays. Right over here on the other side is our auxiliary gym. It is one of two gyms we have in, in the school. This is used for PE classes and other events throughout the school year. And right off the open, right off the auxiliary gym and down this hallway, you will find the blue bathrooms. 
there's male and female bathrooms down this hall, but you also find your band rooms, your choral rooms, and your drama rooms. That's where your classrooms will be. You walk down there and they are down that hallway. Also, before we move on, I wanted to point out um, on this same hallway beside the auxiliary gym, we have uh, a health room and the girls' locker room. The locker, girls' and boys' locker rooms are on both sides of the auxiliary gym. This side is the girls' locker room. Before we go over to the boys' locker room, we'll go down to the new gym, which is off of the open commons, right beside the auxiliary gym. We're gonna go down this colorful hallway and head on down to the new gym. Okay, so just before we get to the new gym, I wanna show you the fitness room. We're pretty proud of our fitness room. Got a lot of equipment in here. Um, we've got the bicycles, we've got treadmills, we've got, what do you call those things? Ellipticals. Ellipticals, that's right. Ellipticals. Um, so classes use this uh, fitness center every day. Um, so you'll, you'll get a chance to be in here as well. Okay, so when school does resume and we start to have athletic games again, um, such as basketball, volleyball, those kind of games that are indoors. Um, we've got a special entrance here where you would come in to the back, around the back side of the bus loop and around the building here. This would be the entrance into the new gym when you come to see inside sports. Here's our new gym. And the great thing about this is when we have those, our famous pep rallies. We have seniors over here, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. And this place comes alive when we have pep rallies. And it's an exciting, exciting time. This is your new gym. You'll also be in here for PE class. Okay, so now we're gonna head on down to the other part of the building. And um, so we're just on the other side of the auxiliary gym and the open commons. This is another health room and the boys PE or locker room. And we're gonna head on down to math and arts. And so we'll talk to you when we get down there. Okay, so some of you new students are actually upperclassmen, so we have a closed commons cafeteria for 11th and 12th graders. And the cool thing about in here is if you're a senior, um, you get to, when weather permits, you get to go outside to the courtyard to have lunch during your lunch period. All right, everybody, we just finished with the closed commons. We're gonna head to the other part of the building where we'll show you CTE, art classrooms, math classrooms, and the rest of the social studies wings. But before we get there, we want to show you another important person in our building is our director of student activities. Hello, everybody. Really? Oh, my God. Ah! How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Midlow. Thank you, Miss Collins. Now, as we enter the back up, another half of the school, over here we have our one of our art studios, one of, where photography happens, Ms. Good's room. Over here is our autism suite. So down this middle hallway, you, you'll once again see colored bathroom, color-coded bathrooms. They are, this. these are our orange bathrooms, and just beyond them, is our our far room. We'll take a closer look at that on our way back through the hall. Follow me, we'll go to more art and CTE classrooms. All right, as we pass through another set of doors in Midlothian, you come across, we're gonna start a couple of our CTE classrooms, but then on the other side, we have two more art rooms on, on my right-hand side. And a little bit further down, we do have an auto tech room. So we have a garage here, so there's a, 
a mechanics class located in our building if you're interested in that. Over, over to my left hand side, you have an econ personal finance room, Ms. Van Arsdale's room, but also now we're going to start to teach most of our math classes. So once you get past there, you'll run into a majority of math classes down this hallway starting at room 326 with Mr. Sheridan. All right, we're gonna finish up our tour of math rooms and then hit the rest of our CTE rooms and the rest of social studies. But before we get there, in the back of the math hallway, you, you will find our male and female yellow bathrooms. So again, you're noticing a pattern. All the bathrooms are color-coded throughout the building. Follow me, we'll hit the rest of the building. All right, everybody, we're finishing up our Four of the math rooms on the rest of this hallway, you'll see it straight, shoot straight through to the open commons. But along this front path, we'll go, we'll find some CTE rooms and the rest of our social studies rooms. Here we go. As we get to this part of the building, the rooms on in this area are part of our CTE program. We also have some special education classrooms in this area and down on this hallway. Yeah. So I just wanted to point out, um, as you go through the building, you notice pictures and things hanging on the walls. Um, this is something that's really cool I wanted to point out. This is where um, our teachers, you know, if you are in a world language class and you're going on a trip, um, you'll go on a field trip if you belong to one of these clubs. Um, they've gone to some really cool places. This is um, the Colosseum in Rome, um, in Italy. Um, but yeah, check them out. There's some really cool things that you'll find scattered throughout the building at the local. Social studies, all going on up. It's in CTE yearbook. Um, over here, Mr. Johnson yearbook and um, still have some social studies classrooms on my right hand side over here. Marketing teacher, Ms. Mannheim, uh, right here at the doorway. Big Virginia Tech fan. Where we said we would show you when we talked about our bar room, um, that's our focus and recovery room. So when we return to the building, if um, students are experiencing um, you know, any kind of stress or anxiety and they just need to get away and they need a place to de-escalate, this is where they come to. Go to the counseling office first and see your counselor or an administrator and then we can get you into the focus and recovery room where you can spend 10, 15 minutes to kind of de-escalate, get your thoughts together, and get back to class. All right, so we have just about wrapped up this end of the building. Um, so as Mr. Legal said, we really just made a big loop, and we're going to come right back down to the um, main entrance and the open commons. And the other side that we took you down first, that made a loop starting at the open commons, back up to the open commons. So both both wings of the building have a front hallway and a back hallway. It makes a loop and brings you right back to the front of the center of the school. Okay, new students, freshmen, and upperclassmen new to Midlothian High School. This concludes our uh, tour of the building. So we want to say thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. We can't wait to have you all in the building, but until we can have you in the building, have a great start of the year in your virtual learning class, and we'll see you as soon as we can. All right. Bye.